You know, it's not a theory. They did fake the moon landing. That's a fact, whether people realize it or not. And people need to realize <laughs> the sheer arrogance of the federal government to pull off the moon landing fraud when there's virtually no eyewitnesses except three government employees and a picture we have to trust is on the moon from the federal government above the earth starting at about a thousand miles and extending about 30,000 miles is a huge band of radiation that astronauts would have to go through to the moon and through again back. First he says it's dangerous, meaning deadly, and then he says that the technology for an astronaut to go through it to the moon and back and survive has yet to be invented. Let's listen to him say that. And when did he say this? I think he said that in 2014. Okay. All right. Jamie, we'll find that. We'll pull that up. Um, but that would be the argument against the moon landing being a hoax. Let's go. Navigation and guidance for Orion. We are headed 3,600 miles above Earth. 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belts, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this could harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. We must solve these challenges before we send... Okay. Did you just say that over and over again? Yeah, well, he said it was okay. on Orion, though. Excuse me? He said it was for Orion. You think he was talking about a different time period. He said you would have to solve it for when Orion was traveling. When was Orion? Well, he says you must solve these challenges before we send people right, but was through he, this region of space. Talking, what was he talking about, though? He's talking, He's talking about, about sending people beyond Earth orbit through the radiation belt. I, and he says that... The, what was this video from? What's that? I, what's this video from? Yeah, what is it? When was he, he said 2014? He was yeah, talking about so. this? Yeah. And what was this uh, The Orion to? Project was to have a step toward going to the moon. He's and what year was this? What was I, year? I think he said that in 2014. So the, the Orion project was a new uh, project to go to the moon in 2014, just not as focused as... Correct. As they the were Apollo. using part of that spacecraft on the Artemis mission when they sent mannequins through the radiation belt. He says we must first solve these challenges of radiation protection before we send people through right. this region of space, meaning the technology mm -hmm. to send an astronaut through the radiation and survive has not been invented Well, that's yet. not exactly what he was saying. I, I see where you're going with this, but what he did say that was it was dangerous radiation. You wrote deadly in all capital letters, uh, but th what he was just saying, it was dangerous, and he was specifically talking about instrumentation. He didn't say dangerous in terms of, like, to people. Right, because that right. would be more of a clue that they didn't go to well, the moon, it's, so he didn't mention that. It would be a thing that you would go, but hey, how did they do it? And then they'd get, it would, you would open up a can of worms. Right, so, he says we must solve these challenges of protecting the astronauts before we send people right. through this region of space, meaning... People cannot go through it until the radiation shielding is developed, and it has not yet been developed, a way to send astronauts through it and survive in 2014. So if it's not been invented in 2014 yet, then it wasn't invented in, in 1969. Well, I think another thing that is important to say that if you're saying that radiation is dangerous to instrumentation, and it's going to be dangerous to bodies. That's even right. if you, but I'm saying, even if you don't say that, even but if you're not people. saying, yeah. he did say people before we could send people, but he could, you could say, imply, I'm not saying this is true, but by what he's saying, that what he's saying is instrumentation would be damaged and that would be dangerous. Well, and he also included people before we send right. people through this region right. of space. But, but it yeah. could be because they would lose their instrumentation. Okay. You could interpret that. I'm just trying to be as generous as possible. You're but, overly generous there, yeah, I'm generous. trying to be. <laughs> so what is this, James? This is from Reddit. This, someone says this is the full context of what he says in that clip. Okay, here it is. My name is Kelly Smith, and I work on navigation and guidance for Orion. Before we can send astronauts into space on Orion, we have to test all the systems. Only one way to know if we got it right, fly it into space. 
For Orion's first flight, no astronauts will be aboard. The spacecraft is loaded with sensors to record and measure all aspects of the flight in every detail. We're headed 3,600 miles above Earth, 15 times higher from the planet than the International Space Station. As we get further away from Earth, we'll pass through the Van Allen belt, an, anger, an area of dangerous radiation. Radiation like this can harm the guidance systems, onboard computers, or other electronics on Orion. Naturally, we have to pass through this danger zone twice, once up and once back. But Orion has protection. Shielding will be put to the test as the vehicle cuts through the waves of radiation. Sensors aboard will record radiation levels for scientists to study. We must solve these challenges before we send people through this region of space. So the challenges have not been solved in 2014. So how could they have been solved in 1969? Well, the thing is, even if they did solve it back then, if... What, how did they do it? This is the question. So this is what we know about the spaceship. The, what we know about the Apollo 11, what we know about the shielding that it had. They had one-eighth of an inch of aluminum. Now, when you get a, a dental x-ray, they use one-quarter inch lead. And so that's for one-twenty-fourth of a second. They would be in that for an hour to an hour and a half going to the moon and an hour to an hour and a half coming back. So and what would that be the equivalent to roughly in terms of like x-rays? It would be 100 times more than a lethal dose, according to their own reports, which are documented at sabrell.com. All for free. You go on there and watch the videos and read the documentation. OK. And to be but, clear, and to be clear, how many people have gone through that supposedly? Well, um, what was the first ones? The first one, there, there was an orbit of the moon, a manned orbit of the moon before there was a land. Yeah, there were allegedly 24 people who have allegedly gone through it to the moon and back. But the footage we uncovered shows them faking being halfway to the moon from Earth orbit. So it proves that they could not even go halfway to the moon because they're faking being halfway to the moon. Ooh. 